Hi guys, today we're doing uh, a review on the Caddis, uh, I think it's the Sierra Gold float tube. And uh, kind of just showing you guys what it's like and uh, how to use it and if it's good or not, so yeah. yeah. Did these flippers come with it? No. No, okay, so that's not part of it. So, one of the things that I found interesting was that it did come with a patch kit. You can see that. Uh, some glue to hold the patch on. It seems like this it'll actually hold together. So, yeah. Did it come with the pump? Uh, no. Okay, so you have to buy the pump separately and there's a couple of or anything. So, something that is useful if you're thinking of buying a float tube is a pump of some sort. And then a tube that you I recommend use. getting a uh, pump that you can connect to a battery. It tends to, work too. to be more useful. That does work too. Okay, now the float tube itself. There's the stripping apron. The stripping apron. And then the tube. The and tube then did, did this come with it too, or no? Uh, yeah. yeah. And then there's a rod holder. The one that I got came with the rod holder. It's a pretty nice rod holder. I mean, there's some minor improvements that they could have made on it. But it's not necessary. Well, because you can't point it. It's it's hard to get it pointed. Right? It's hard. Yeah, exactly. But nailed it. It's otherwise it's good. So you can unroll the float tube. It's it's nice because it's um it's like this. It's not one of those round float tubes, which is nice. So there's a two feet there. And yeah, so now we're gonna blow it up. And I'm gonna fast forward this part so Justin. Uh, so don't speak. Here, this thing. Don't speak it. Don't don't, speak you it. don't speak. So I, which which thing should I put on? This one? Yeah. Go. Okay, start pumping. Is it unscrewed? Yes, it is. It's pump it's going down. So that's it's all pumped up now. Basically. And then there's this. Let's put the the rod holder on first. You have to do. So here's the rod holder. It goes on like this. You actually take this part out there, and then this thing wraps around here. Oops. You can loosen it up a little. Clip it on. Tighten it. Move. Then the rod holder just, you can move it to about where you want and the rod holder will clip in. And so, like that, or like that is nice for trolling. Yeah. And then the, the uh, stripping apron just oh, you do flips that on like go. that. No, no, whatever. Made it worse. Hang it up. And then that side too. And then this just. There we go. That's it, basically. That's all the floaty inflated. Then here there's a little um, thing that you can remove, right? There. For uh, flies. 
because slow jibs are made for fly fishing. Um, pocket here, pocket there. They're, they're not air pockets. They're just uh, normal pockets for all your stuff. Then there's um, back here, there's a leather pocket. And same with the other side. And there's D rings everywhere on the outsides, here, here. One here, thing here. that I would note if you were to buy one of these things, I want to sit in it because I'm lazy. Uh, one thing that you want to notice is I don't know, can you pick that up? Um, if you look, there's a hole inside the left side pocket for the inflator tube. I did not know this when I first tried to uh, blow it up, and it was extremely hard. Also, another useful thing to note is there's another hole for the back one, for the backrest in the, a little teeny pocket on the left side yet again. Yeah. So just two things that I would note and then, that make it a, your okay. life a lot easier. And back here, there's a, a pocket here to open to the air chamber backrest. And is there one for the big chamber? Yeah, it would Down be there. located right under the back. Can you see it? Right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just back here now. So. That's it, basically. There's a... Uh, let me wait. Let me just get this. Then again. There we go. That's... So. Uh, there's also a cup holder. A measuring tape on the stripping apron. It's yeah. Let me clip this here. It's kind of it, it becomes kind of loose, and we haven't tried it on the water yet. But I haven't put it out on the water. It gets good reviews from other people, so I don't know. I say See, it seems strong. Too. It seems very sturdy, so I think that it is awesome. And my sister is playing a really retarded song in the background. I'm so sorry. Is there another? Oh yeah, there's more pockets here, on the side thing. Yeah. There's pockets. There's like three pockets. Out. Yeah, and on this side, there's more pockets. Tons of pockets. Lots of pockets. But you can't really fit a big tackle box. Yeah. And you can only really bring one rod, so. Yeah. I guess it would be useful if you could like leave your tackle box on shore, and uh, bring a few baits in your thing here. Yeah. Go out. I mean, use them up. Come back. It is made for fly fishing. It is called the caddis. Uh, I'm just saying that nobody, if you're going to go trout fishing or something like that with a regular spinning reel rod, I would just... Just bring bring a, a bring, box yeah. of a few lures and bait here, yeah. and then leave your bigger tackle box on shore, or like in your car and park it close to the, close to the lake so you can always go back there if you need something else, and you really can't use more than one rod. Yeah. Well, you can use more than one rod. If you get another rod holder. Yeah. I mean, if you, even without another rod holder, you could still, if you were just doing a spinning reel, which I'm probably going to use this for, I would just put one in here for just sitting like power bait if I was just going to sit. And then like some other rod that I would just cast some lures off. I don't know. So, for me, out of, like out of a 10, this probably gets an 8. 8.5? 8.5, yeah, around there. It seems very sturdy. Nice build. Um, I haven't found any things that are like coming off on it. I mean, I have got. I just. I got this a couple days ago, so I haven't tried it out on the water, as we previously noted. Got it for Christmas. Yeah. So. Later, uh, I'm getting a Sea Eagle inflatable pontoon boat, and uh, it should arrive by. I don't know when. So please. So just see my channel. Don't comment, rate, or subscribe because that means I get emails. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, if for if you want to, uh, I'm gonna do a review on the Sea Eagle, and uh, yeah, so just visit my channel, which is uh, just look up. It's a uh, P R O K H K. That's my channel. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. But.